In the second half of the 19th century, during the Industrial Revolution, many English workers migrated to France. A large part of these workers came from the English city of Nottingham. Their bulldogs were highly prized and then brought to France by their owners. Some of those bulldogs were very small and some had erect ears, a feature not much appreciated in their native England. In France, however, small upright-eared bulldogs caused a sensation, especially among noblewomen. Pet traders began to import more and more of these little bulldogs, which were already becoming known as the Bulldog Francais or French Bulldog. The weight of these small bulldogs should not be less than 8 kilos nor greater than 14 for both males and females. The size is not indicated in the breed standard, but it must be proportionate to its weight. They are visibly small and often chubby dogs, but are also robust and solid boned. It's typical of the Moloster type breed. The hair of the French Bulldog is striking and beautiful. It's dense, tight and satin smooth to the touch. According to the International Sinological Federation breed standard, their coat can be fawn, brindled or have white spotting. The temperament of the French Bulldog is one which is friendly, playful, very sociable and sweet. They make the perfect lap dog. These Bulldogs tend to easily socialise with other dogs, people or animals. They usually get along very well with children. Despite this fact, it's very important to socialise these dogs from a very early age to prevent shyness in adulthood. This breed does not tend to be very troublesome, but its great need for company can mean it develops separation anxiety fairly easily. This means the French Bulldog can become destructive if left alone for long periods. Hair care is easier and simpler than in other companion dog breeds since a short hair does not have many demands. Weekly brushing is usually sufficient to remove loose hair. Bathing can be carried out once a month or when the dog is dirty. However, we need to regularly clean the wrinkles on their face to prevent dirt from accumulating in them. To do this, we have to simply wipe them gently with a damp cloth and dry them. Exercise requirements for the French Bulldog are low. Although they are a very playful dog, they can tire quickly and will do most of their physical exercise indoors. Still, they will need moderate daily walking to stimulate their mind and socialise, as well as provide low intensity exercise. Due to their shortened snout, the French Bulldog struggles in hot climates. This makes them susceptible to heat stroke and they are hypersensitive to anaesthesia. This breed has so far not particularly excelled in training. Many old school handlers classify French Bulldogs as stubborn and dominant. The real reason these dogs are difficult to train is because they do not respond well to traditional training styles, especially punishment. However, when trained with positive reinforcement, French Bulldogs can learn all kinds of commands and even tricks. They are grateful and loving dogs, they can gladly accept learning if done in the right way. Unfortunately, the French Bulldog is prone to various canine diseases, many related to its flattened muzzle. Among the most frequent are stenotic nostrils, elongated soft palate, intervertebral disc degeneration, and canine hemivertebra. This breed is also diagnosed less frequently with hip dysplasia, patellar dislocation, cataracts, and deafness. Do you have any French Bulldog stories you'd like to share? If so, please leave us a comment with your thoughts. Give us a like if you find the video useful, subscribe for more to come, and we'll see you next time.